Hey Islanders, welcome back to another episode where today I'm going to be showing all of you the easiest way to read a CSV file. You're watching Islander Robotics. My name is William McKeon, and if you have not yet hit that subscription button in the bottom corner, please go right ahead. We're on this channel, we teach each other robotics through programming. As always, sit back, relax with your favorite snack, and let's get started. Welcome Islanders to the brand new series Islander Sorts in no shape or form is this series or this video about financial advice like always this series is going to be a project log for the stock analysis tool that I want to create and really the very first thing we have to start off with talking about is how to read a CSV file now reading and writing is something that was very complicated for me when I first started programming really for a lot of different reasons that we're not going to go into today but the Python's pandas module really makes the process of, well, reading a file very simple, as well as, as you all saw in the last video, write, um, writing to a CSV file is also as simple as two lines. Now, the pandas library, I mean, the pandas module is not a pre installed module. It is something you have to manually install, right? Really, it is well worth the installation process. And once we, once you install it, it's as simple as just saying import pandas as PD and you have the pandas module in your software. Once we've imported that, we're going to continue on to the class. And the class for it, well, what we're going to name this class is going to be Islander Sorts. As always, underneath is going to be a doc string explaining what the whole what the whole software does. Well, the whole class does. Right after that, as always, we have to initialize the class, which is going to start off with over here on line eight. And this is we're going to initialize this class just like how you always do, just like how you always initialize a class in Python with the init method. Inside of the init method, we're going to have two variables. First one's going to be self.data, which is over on line nine. Now, what this self.data is going to be is actually an empty dictionary. We're going to be populating this dictionary with all the important data from our class. Underneath is going to be the self.key, which is just going to be an empty list. Now, what is self.key? Well, it's actually the list that we're going to be storing all of the key ordered pairs for our dictionary. There's plenty of other different methods to be able to access your key ordered pair. This is just the method that makes the most sense to me. If you're one of the people that's able to understand the other, the other proper methods to be able to access your key ordered pairs, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section down below so that other people can learn different methods to achieve the same goals. After that, we're going to be talking about, well, now we're going to be talking about the very first function of this class, which is going over to here on line 11. The function that we create is going to be called the getting, getting the data function. Well, getting the data method. Now inside of this, inside of this method, this is actually where we're going to be importing the CSV file into our code. And really it's as simple as saying stock equals PD dot read CSV. And then whatever the input argument isn't the name of the CSV, it's actually the file location. The reason why you don't see the whole file location of the nasdaq.csv is because of how the nasdaq.csv is in the same file location as this code. Therefore, all we have to do is just bring up the name of the file. All right. Also, where I got this CSV file, I'll leave a link to it down in the description bar down below. And this this CSV file has a lot of information, but there's I don't really care. All I really want is the stock symbols inside of this CSV file. So therefore, in order to just get the stock symbols, I'm going to say self.data. And then I'm going to be creating a new keyword pair called stock. And it's going to be populated with stock.iloc. And then that this dot dot means that whole row. And then this zero is stating zero. Well, if this zero was, let's say, five, it's saying all of the columns from zero to five. But since we just want the first row, we're just gonna say zero. Also, another quick thing to keep in mind is stock is a pandas data frame, not a list, all right? Just wanna let you all know. And then after that, so that we can keep track of the key order pairs for our dictionary, we're just gonna say self.key.append, and then we're gonna, it's the same thing as what's right here, so stock. The next thing we're gonna do is actually switch over to the main file right here. And let's just go over the file real quick. We're gonna say from Islander stocks, import Islander stocks. Then on line three, we're gonna say data equals Islander stocks. And then this is just creating an instance of our class. Afterwards, we're gonna actually call the method that we're just working on by just saying data dot getting the data. All right, and then afterwards, so that all so that we can have some kind of output to make sure that the software is properly working, we're just going to say print data dot data, and then we're going to pass in the key term of stock. 
Now we're going to switch over to the terminal so that we can see the output of this file. Let's just go over here, type in actually python3 main.py. All right, so 0123 is stuff that pandas actually created. Disregard that, but AACG is actually a stock symbol. I don't know what stock that is, but as we can all see, the file properly works. So therefore, all now know the simplest way to read a CSV file in Python. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please go right on ahead and hit that like button down below. I really do appreciate it. Or if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section down below. I'll be glad to answer. If you want to see today's code, that is down in the description bar down below as well. Also, I did not forget the main idea for this new series is I want to create a stock analysis software where the user will be able to input the greatest amount they want to spend and the software will be able to provide them with stocks that have a value of less than or equal to that value that they specify. If you want to find out how I'm going to achieve this and you're not yet subscribed, please do go right on ahead and hit that subscription button so that you can find out how we achieve this goal. As always, thank you all so much for watching. And this honestly has to be one of the shortest videos of Islander Robotics history. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all this Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, happy coding. Bye.